Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at the C Android 11.3, which is based on Android 15 for our OnePlus 6 and the OnePlus 6T. So, without wasting any more time, let's take a look at it. So, guys, shooting this video from my sister's iPhone 13's camera, uh, actually, my Canon's uh, Canon camera's LCD display is gone. It is only giving some backlight, it's flickering, so I think it is gone. And I have to repair it, but right now I don't have the time to go uh, and repair it from the service center. It's it's very far from my house and right now I have exams coming in a month. So I have to focus on that. So yeah, for a period of time, you will be enjoying videos uh, through the iPhone's camera or the S20 FE's camera. I have shot one video, uh, which will be coming after this video. After that, it's published, uh, published and I will just link it through the i button you can go uh, go there and check and let me know how the audio quality is uh, for now while i'm shooting the video quality seems better on the iphone so yeah it's, it's obviously uh, it's better on the iphone but yeah for the audio quality i prefer the galaxy s20 fe i don't know why but you guys can go and check and let me know if you are seeing this part now let's begin with cr droid and starting with the home screen as you can see this is the home screen we get the pixel launcher and uh, yeah if you flash the g apps you can get all the pixel g apps obviously it comes as a vanilla variant you can flash g apps additionally and yes you can get the link of g apps through like you can download g apps uh, from nick g apps or minder g apps whatever your preference is everything will work and then you have this uh, google uh, dashboard uh, i just forgot what it is called but yeah it's like a briefing of some news and then we have your app drawer you can see uh, moving into settings, you can see this is the settings UI with the dark, uh, pure black theme applied. Looks really nice uh, with this theme. Now moving down here into about phone. Uh, this is the normal your settings UI. But once you enter Android version, you get the C Android logo. As you can see with device name Android 15. As you can see, you have C Android version 11.3 beta. And we get March 5, 2025 security patch. So guys, you can see this is the lock screen and I set it very minimal, only the clock, uh, there's no shortcuts, there's no weather, it is just showing Saturday April 4, which is at the at a glance, which is by default. And uh, you have uh, a different uh, clock font style from this, uh, the default font style set. So yeah, you can do that, you can customize all of that in this ROM and we will talk about that in the C Android settings. Now let's explore all the settings we have in this ROM. So moving to the settings app, you can see the rounded search bar. Then each of the settings have been classified really well. And you can see it looks really nice in the pure dark theme mode. Uh, we have CR settings different tab and we have the other settings normally. Uh, you can see a sound and vibration modes. Let's explore each. Uh, let's go uh, with the basic customization for the sound and vibration. You can see you have all the sound modes. Uh, you mean I mean the levels you can control for each then we have poor app volume control we have charging sounds you can customize charging sound and set it to a variety of sounds you can see you have a lot of sounds here to set for just the charging sounds when you plug in and plug out we have uh, into the notifications you can see we get this nice animation which has been put from the last year Android version I mean the Android version and it looks really nice giving a brief idea about what all we get inside this and we have this options uh, you can see you can check them out it's just the basic stuff and going into modes we have the new modes option here uh, previously we had do not disturb uh, and now we have modes you can see we have do not disturb inside we have bedtime mode driving mode you can set uh, you can customize each of the modes and you can also create your own mode and set it to each task that you do or each activity you are doing so while you're driving if you want to you know you can set up driving and you know you, have, you can allow notifications from only those people that you select and then alarms other interruptions then display settings whatever the display you need if you need a grayscale display if you want to keep the dark screen dark or dim the wallpaper enable the dark theme if you are using a light theme and you want dark theme during driving because you don't want to reflect the white on the screen uh, on your face then you can set all of these options and which is really handy just select modes from quick settings as you can see you have modes here and you can choose the specific mode to be chosen uh, during the activity you are doing so this is really nice and this is recently added by google so 
it's a good option but uh, it would have been handy because most of the people use do not disturb by default going to movies or any other doing during any other activity while studying or something like that but yeah this is also good something new that we are going to see here now moving to display option you can see we get this animation again light and dark mode i guess we have extra dim. basic stuff is there lock screen uh, again animation inside uh, this is from moto and uh, you have a dynamic clock ambient display your pickup uh, pocket pickup options these are the available and we also have always on display and this will obviously uh, reflect the clock that you have on the lock screen so that's how it is and you have other options as well night light live display from lineage os as this rom is based on lineage os but has all the pixel goodies and you can see we have all of the stuff window level blurs tap to wake which is double tap to wake tap to sleep and wake on plug prevent accidental wake up all of the features are there so there is not an issue if you are coming from a rom which has all those basic and additional features then into wallpaper and style uh, we can choose wallpaper you can see you can change clock and if you set it to the default clock you can also configure it into the settings that we are going to see after this uh, you can see shortcuts you have fonts i've set it to comforta then icon you can also change the icons default icons and you can change all these uh, through say android settings too so right now it's set, set to default but yeah i have changed it in the ci android settings we have more lock screen options too and yeah it gets it to your same display option and coming down we have battery uh, same with the animation and this font change it looks really nice battery usage and i'm getting on an average six to six and a half hour screen on time uh, right now i have charged to full but yeah this uh, full charged uh, uh no this is not the right uh, thing you can see i've used this for about this 20 hours and this seems to be no this is not 20 hours this is 4 to 10 and this is uh, again 12 so yeah so yeah not much i have uh, been getting this screen on time because i haven't used it fully but yeah i had a screenshot uh, i'll just uh, you know uh, overlay it in this part if i have the screenshot right now so I was getting 6 hours, uh, 5.30 to 6 hours, uh, 6.30 hours, anywhere in between. Your charging control, battery manager, getting back, battery optimization, battery information. You have a lot of stuff here. All of this uh, stuff related to battery is in here. So you're not missing out on anything. And your system options, you have device extras. Uh, you can use the slider for your uh, alert slider. We have... Uh, yeah, GPU boost value, then we have some high brightness mode, FPS overlay, you can position it, uh, and yeah, a lot of stuff here, fast charging, USB ODG, char ODG charging, and all that, so you have this stuff, you can configure that, navigation mode, we have Gesha navigation, circle to search, everything is present here, even if I have the, I have this hidden, uh, circle to search works fine, uh, it's not, it's not triggering right now but it was it accidentally triggers up uh, as you can see navigation it uses a navigation handle i guess i have uh, disabled that's why the circle to search is not coming out it literally is not coming i don't know why but it accidentally just does whenever it wants to so yeah it's a bit of a i don't know what to say a bug or something but yeah it does not work on my one plus oh <laughs> i just said it does not work and it started working so yeah this is how it is just disable enable or do some stuff it will start working then we have gestures and yeah you can see from uh, the animation from moto but you all have the default gestures that we get in any of the rom so either these are the settings present by default uh, with the lineage os base it comes with c android then we have c android settings let's take a look at all of the settings right now now starting with status bar options you can see you have status bar icons uh, you can enable all of these you have view lte and uh, wi-fi icons too this is the basics one you can see uh, wi-fi is right now not available i don't know why but yeah it will show you the icon once it is available then we have clock style 
this is for the you know position of the clock uh, data disabled 4g icon wi-fi standard and yeah colored icons you can check that logo and you can also position the logo you can see the logo style i've set it to batman dark knight and it shows you the batman dark knight logo going down we have battery style these are the only options we get we don't get ios style and i have set it to landscape uh yeah it's not not to copy ios obviously but yeah looks good uh something different header image as you can see i have set it to automatic can set i've set it to poly if you go inside and image collection and you can change a lot of stuff in here battery style follow status bar or you can set a different for quick settings then yeah dual tone theme and quick settings panel style also you can change to cyberpunk and it looks really nice animation style data usage you can enable if you want clock font style this is the option what i was talking about and you can change it to any of these fonts you can see i've set it to fill uh fibography and this is how it looks and you can change it to a lot of fonts you have and that's my dog calling me and with the settings you can see i don't know why this is not enabled it says require smart space is disabled but yeah i don't know why that is uh, you can see it's an enabled okay i have to show google smart space i have to disable this i don't know why so okay it only works with the uh, smart space disabled or uh, smart space means the at a glance at your lock screen so yeah uh, you can uh, just enable it through here with the update and yeah you have this fingerprint options then buttons option you can see you have power menu advanced restart Going down, we have a hardware buttons option, then user interface, ambient display, which we have already checked. Full screen, you can see screen on screen off animation, smart pixels, monet the uh, theming. Uh, you can change theming and stuff. And we have all these options, navbar style. If you use navbar, then you have font style. A lot of fonts we have. I've set it to Comforta, and mostly I set it to Linode. So this icon pack. You can change it through a like lot of icons. You can also customize signal, Wi-Fi, and you can also change the icon shape, which is really nice. Uh, which you can do that. Also, battery uh, icon you can change it to the status bar option. We have some notification options here. You can see you can change heads up, less boring, battery light. You can also customize this like I have did. You know, with the colors I want, and we have notification light for colors. You can see you can set it to very short, fast, and that's how it looks. Uh, it's very fast and it goes very fast. So fast is okay for me. Yeah, uh, default is short and slow, or like medium, or it is slow, I guess. Then volume volume panel on the left, as if we have it on the left, and you can disable that if you have volume buttons on the right. And we have pulse, volume steps, and vibrate on connect options. And we have some miscellaneous stuff. Uh, integrity spoof, unlock higher FPS in games, and Netflix spoof, app downgrade, sidebar, three finger swipe, and sensor blockage per package. So a lot of stuff is available here. And these are all of the options. And uh, we have some about C Android. You can check the change log. Uh, it might not be available because it's not official ROM. And yeah, we have some options. You can help with translations if you are watching it from some, you know, different language which is not yet supported in CR Droid. We have community update channel and can check all these. We have updates, but as this is not a supported device, it will not receive OT updates. And that is it for all of the stuff, all the settings customization we have in CR Droid. So guys, that's it for CR Droid 11.3 based on Android 15, 4 or OnePlus 6 and the OnePlus 60. Now, if you want to choose this ROM, like if you're on Lineage, if you want a lot of customization, battery life, performance, everything is balanced. If I have the battery life screenshot I took, I will obviously attach it uh, in, in the video. You can check that. But yeah, this Faba is the most balanced ROM. There are no lags. Obviously, I'm coming from a 120 hertz screen to watching this 60 hertz. So I feel uh, while scrolling and you can see there's a bit of slutter, but it is not. But yeah, if you are using 60 hertz or if you're using OnePlus 6 as a daily driver, then I would recommend you guys to install this ROM. Everything works. The basic functions, VLT, Wi-Fi, camera, Bluetooth, everything works fine. 
even the sound quality through my nothing uh, ear one is totally amazing i'm getting a good amount of uh, battery life uh, that also brings you know i'm not using this as my daily driver obviously so battery life is amazing for me i get uh, 3 to 4 hours screen on time if i'm using it uh, for 2 days and if i'm using it for a day and some more hours and i obviously go by far if i'm watching youtube like stuff and that then i go up to 6 hours of screen on time too so that is very impressive for one plus 6 in 2025 even after so much years it's performed really well and android 15 it handles totally well so you can try c android uh it's a it's a it's one of the best for our oneplus 60 on the 6 obviously so that's it for the video if you have any issues any stuff if you have anything to ask you can go in the comment section and guys about the installation uh i won't be able to show you the installation sorry i don't have the camera there's no right uh, angle to shoot through the computer so that's why Uh, I won't be able to show you the installation. Installation is easy if you are familiar with Fast Boot. Then you just have to copy the commands. I have uh, like mentioned a link in the description that has all the uh, all the installation guide, all the notes regarding what you have to take precautions on. Uh, that you can do it yourself. I don't have to explain that, and it's retrofit. So yeah, there's a bit of. bit of uh, difference from the regular fast boot mode but yeah you had to fast the use fast boot first and adb side load rom it's all the same and if you want any guidance on installation you can check in uh, like you can post it in the comments and i will help you guys out so there's no issue about that and yep that's it i hope you guys like the video if you did press the like button if not press the dislike button that will be a great feedback for me and for any feedback any guidance you can post it in the comment section and for all the links all the guides regarding installation and everything it's in the description so check it and yep that's it if you guys want to watch some more videos you can also subscribe and you can also support the channel through joining my membership you get some perks you can watch it uh, while joining if you want to join it's totally optional it's not anything serious to be about but yeah i have just added it because it's a feature and helps the channel so yeah That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and goodbye. I've already said all the stuff. So, bye-bye.